Hello, girlfriends, and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we'll be trying out some products for your teeth. This is called Fuzzy Brush, and this was developed by dentists. It's a chewable toothbrush that does not require toothpaste or water. You just chew it like a piece of gum. So it's quite fascinating because you just put it in, and it's supposed to be able to clean your teeth all over just by. This smells like a pack of mints. But it's 100% sugar free. You're supposed to bite on this thing here and use your teeth to swivel it. And then you're supposed to turn it around and do the same on the back of your tooth. And you're supposed to do this all around. This sounds like it requires a certain amount of kung fu. Hmm? I feel like an idiot. It's shriveling, but I'm not touching my tooth. I do not know if I'm using this right or not. It says with practice, you should be able to clean all your teeth. Okay, really hard. And all the sugar rates are like falling out. The sugar thing is really annoying me. Hi again. The whole like sugar chunk just came off. How am I supposed to like, put, put it back? Put it back and try again. So gross! <laughs> All the saliva everywhere! Okay, it's a bit difficult, so I'm gonna try it with my mouth closed. It actually does feel quite nice because the minty sensation is very nice, but it's kind of weird also because this thing is like candy and I feel like I'm thinking candy and just kind of like brushing it all over my teeth. All of the instructions show that you do do like this. And so I thought that's what you're supposed to do. But then it actually makes more sense to kind of like close your mouth and do it because then the action it's easier to do, like there's just no way that thing swivels on its own. This is misleading. <laughs> I mean, they could have just one more diagram, just one more diagram where your mouth is closed with arrows. That would help. I mean. <laughs> All they could say in the instructions, like just close your mouth over it. And actually there's so much like hard rock candy thing on it that it starts to kind of like fall apart. So like when that whole big piece came out, it's hard because I haven't finished like the rest of my teeth. But I will say that it is quite fun and the rocks on this thing are uh, very refreshing. Once I got the hang of it, it was actually really quite therapeutic. There was a while there where I just kind of went into a zone and then it feels quite nice because the brush is, the bristles are very soft and they are very gentle. My teeth do feel quite fresh. It tastes nice until all the sugar falls off then it doesn't taste that great but it doesn't it's not horrible even after that and I wouldn't mind using this again I would give this a 8 out of 10 this is an organic toothbrush it's called Mizwak it is from the tree that is the Salvadora Vasica and it's supposed to prevent gingivitis prevent plaque uh, help to get rid of bad breath whiten your teeth strengthen your teeth enamel and also prevent tooth cavities. Basically, it's supposed to re replace your toothbrush and your toothpaste. So this comes with four Miswax and four containers. Uh, ooh, I almost feel like this is food. It feels like a snack. Wow, that smells awful. It smells like it's wet and a bit like vinegary almost. I, I'm like, it's like sharp and unpleasant. First step, you're supposed to gently cut off about 1.1 or 1.5 cm of the bark to reveal the inner bristles. Right now, it feels very hard. It's, uh, it almost feels styrofoamy. And then you're supposed to use your molar teeth to chew the center fiber. I really taste bad. That's so gross. Now that the bristles have come out like this, I'm gonna brush my teeth. It's gentle and firm. The firmness, I think, would be like a, say, a medium toothbrush. Quite dense and it's, uh, it's still like quite gentle. It's, it's really not hard. It's actually quite therapeutic if you were used to the taste. The taste for me is a bit put off because I can't imagine myself ever getting used to this flavour. I just can't get over it. I don't understand. <laughs> the people are just using it like, mm. I'm like, oh! This does not taste good! And it's very weird because, right, these bristles, like, bits of it are coming off in my mouth. I feel like I need another clean <laughs> just to get it off. This actually doesn't seem too difficult to use. I mean, there is a bit more fussing than, like, a regular toothbrush, but it's not as difficult as I imagined it would be. 
if it didn't taste so bad and if these things didn't keep falling off, I actually wouldn't mind giving this a shot. I don't think I can give this a fair rating because the smell is just putting me off way too much. So this is the Hanik DC Tooth Makeup. Like actually makeup for your teeth. So I think the idea is for this to make your teeth look whiter. Oh, it's so cute! The bottle! It's the shape of a tooth. It's a mirror! You can do this on the go. So you're supposed to put like dental cotton or tissue paper between your lips and your gum to prevent your lips from touching the paint as it's drying. Now I'm supposed to apply this in swift, decisive strokes from the top to the bottom. This is just weird. I feel like my teeth look worse than before. It looks like I painted my teeth with nail polish and then it's also not an even coat. And also, like the colour is so bizarre. I feel like on some level it looks a bit yellower than my actual teeth. I was actually quite looking forward to this because I went to whiten my teeth and then after that, they didn't inform me that I had to keep it up at home with like a whitening system so my teeth just went back to yellow and dare I say maybe even yellower than before? I don't know but it's really annoying. So anyway, I was like, oh hey, if this tooth polish works, that could be interesting. No, not working. This is terrible. All right, let's try eating and drinking a little bit. Ooh, I must tell you about this amazing Kit Kat. It's called Kit Kat Gold. It's the best freaking Kit Kat in the world. We've already gone through like half the bar. <laughs> it's so, this is like amazing. Hey, it's the same colour as my tooth. Okay lah, Kit Kat is a bit darker. Oh, oh, it's all gone. So now I have half a painted tooth. That is not ideal. <laughs> Imagine if you go out and let, let's just say you painted the whole top one, right? You're eating halfway and it's just like patchy teeth <laughs> for the rest of the day. Okay, so anyway, I'm not feeling this. I would give this like a zero out of ten. Okay, that one. It's, a good, it's an interesting idea. Now I need to go brush my teeth. <laughs> and get this off. This is a portable water jet floss. So this allows you to floss your teeth with water basically and it's a very gentle way of flossing. Okay, so now I'm supposed to fill this with water. Build up pressure. Whoa! That's pretty strong! Oh, now I get it. No wonder they have this thing here where it says don't put in your eye, your ear, up your nose. Because that thing will take your eye out. It's so ticklish. <laughs> when the water goes through, it's like, ooh. It doesn't hurt at all. It's just like ticklish. My lip feels tickly and my gum feels tickly. Everything feels tickly. Nub it! That thing is it's quite powerful. I can definitely feel the water going like straight through to the other side of my tooth. And it is a much gentler way of flossing. I feel like it won't be as thorough or as clean as uh, thread floss because if your teeth are like this, right? Like having the floss go through like this helps to release but whereas this one is just like water go right through, correct? But if you don't floss at all, then this is better than nothing. And I mean, I know some people don't like to floss because it's, it hurts or like there's a lot of bleeding but actually the more you don't floss, the more that's going to bleed. So start! <laughs> Use this first. And it's just water, you don't need to charge it, you don't need to do anything. It's great! 10 out of 10. You know they play with water guns? But a lot of the water guns are like actually a bit weak. This is pretty strong. You run all around with like the supersonic soaker and I'll be like... <laughs> so this is a tubal toothpaste. It's basically toothpaste that's in a tablet form and it's made with bamboo salt. It smells a bit like the light medicated oil. There's the saltiness and also that slight minty smell. Do you like my nails by the way? I stuck them on. But they are so pretty. <laughs> so I'm supposed to chew this until it bubbles. When you first chew the tablet, it's kind of like chewing on chalk. Like the whole thing just breaks apart. So what I had to do was really chew everything up before moving it around and then like letting it mix with a bit of my saliva and then when that happened, like it kind of became frothier. And then after that, actually it was quite a pleasant sensation. My mouth feels so fresh! I mean, it's not just pure froth. There's a heaviness to it as well, which helps me to feel as though uh, it's helping to clean everything up. The salt and the peppermint or something it leaves my mouth feeling quite right. I would even say that it feels fresher than toothpaste. After using it, like I love the way my mouth feels and it doesn't feel dried out. 
But what I don't like is that I still feel like a bit of a powdery residue. Overall, I think I would give this maybe a 7 out of 10. Just because like, I don't foresee myself using this a lot. This is a Sonic Pig. It's a gentle at home dental cleaning system. It helps to remove plaque, tartar, and stains. It's also supposed to help your teeth get whiter and healthier. 3000 Sonic vibrations per minute. I love you, 3000. I have very low expectations. Because <laughs> I can't imagine something like this being able to whiten your teeth. And also, the videos look so fake. It's like they touch it to the tooth and then the whole row of teeth goes completely white. Like, that does not make any sense. I sent a, a link of this and a picture to my dentist to ask her like what she thought. And she replied all my other questions and totally ignored this. <laughs> she didn't even <laughs> bother to reply. Okay, so I put in the battery. But when I turn it on, it doesn't feel like anything is vibrating at all. Oh, I can hear something. I can't feel it. I don't feel anything vibrating at all. It's not even like a bit vibrating. Let's see whether there's any vibrations. Don't have the water's not moving at all. Why would they do that? This makes me so angry! Wow, the battery is really just for the sound. Unless there's something else about sonic vibrations I don't understand, is it that you won't be able to see any effects in the water? I'm pretty damn sure that it should at least vibrate a little bit, but it's not. If I'm wrong, I will apologise, but otherwise, I'm very upset by the fact that they put in a sound to make me think that it is vibrating. I do not like U3000. I got nothing else to say about this. Now I know why my dentist even bother replying. Rubbish, rubbish! Oh, nothing. Okay, that's it. Done. Rating minus 3000. A very angry 3000. Minus negative. Wow, I'm so angry, I cannot think properly. Okay, we come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page, or you can just check out the links in the description box down below. If you already subscribed to the channel, very good! Now you just need to hit that bell so you'll be notified every time a new video comes out onto YouTube. Or you can just download the Clip Network app, and you'll be able to watch the videos before they come out onto YouTube. Alright, till next time. Go be beautiful!